I just like this. Hey, it was good as your boy sneakers. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys probably don't know what I did with the Yeezys, but if you guys have been here before and you guys are a loyal subscriber or you guys just watch my videos every so often, if you're not subscribed, then you should be, you know, hit the subscribe button. You guys already know what I did with the video. But before I get into the video, let me just say that these horses are not mine. As you guys can tell, I am not in my original environment. This is my old room. When I moved out to go to college, my little sister took over this room and made this her second room because she pretty much has two rooms now. But then my mom's like, nah, screw that. I'm gonna take over. And she's making it her office. So that's what the camera's being set on right now. It is a desk, which I got to work on. I had to build and set it up because I needed to do some work. And also the lights and stuff. There's a bed still here, but this bed's gonna go. And these horses, they're definitely not mine. Like I said, this used to be my sister's room. So that's why you see little horses over there and you see family pictures over there. You guys probably can't see much of the faces and stuff, but that's fine. I just wanna get it clear that those horses are not mine, I promise. So getting all that cleared up, let's get into the actual video. So I did cut up a pair of Yeezys to make this right here and if you guys don't know what it is it is a yeezy mask because you guys know that i am always making these well i've only made like three legit ones so far this is my third one all the ones you saw before that were most definitely not 100 percent authentic all the ones i made since the blue tints they are 100 percent authentic they came from real yeezys and this right here comes from a pair that i got not when they first released the zebras but the second time around i was able to get quite a few pairs and this is one of those pairs and the reason i didn't title this video a yeezy mask zebra custom face mask or whatever i usually title my videos is because i've already done that before for this mask but the first time around like i said the mask was not authentic and now that i finally mastered how i wanted the mask to be i started making them out of authentic sneakers and there's going to be a couple announcements throughout this video and the first one is that I'm going to be selling this mask right here, the zebra mask, as well as I'm still selling the other two. They haven't sold. And the reason for that being is because I think the price point is too high. And I made the price point pretty high on those two masks to see what people would think about the prices. And you guys clearly thought they were too high because they're still sitting. So that being said, I am going to be lowering the prices of the mask substantially. The blue tint one, the Beluga 2.01, and this one, it was going to be at a very high price point. But I am going to be lowering that a good amount. And the way I obviously price these masks has to do with the resale prices of the actual sneaker because obviously I'm not gonna be pricing them all at the same price. It clearly wouldn't make sense for me to make a Beluga mask $200 or $300 because obviously the Beluga resale is worth a lot higher and I gotta pay more to get that sneaker and make that mask. So you guys should expect a price cut of $100 plus off the masks. And if you guys wanna see real quick what this looks like on the face, this is how you put it on. You tie it behind your head, this one's already accustomed to my head. And this is what it looks like on the face. I honestly think they're pretty dope. I kind of want to make a poll and see who likes the mask and who doesn't and which one is the majority. A lot of people think these are pointless, but they are actually pretty useful for certain things. I know I used a mask back in New York. It was like 30 degrees, something like that. And my face was freezing. Like I needed a mask. I would breathe into the mask and I would keep it warm and I would have a hoodie on. And when I would breathe, like my breath would like just kind of take over this whole area. And it felt pretty good for how cold it was. So for winter purposes, this would be pretty dope. And I know there's a lot of people that would like to wear it for style, such as like bikers, people could wear it for skiing, snowboarding, and other activities like that. There's honestly many purposes you can like use this. it for. And yeah, it just depends on how creative you can get with it. Another thing I wanna say about the masks though, they're gonna be very, very, very limited. Like I'm literally going to make five for sale of each colorway. So in total, there will be six masks of each colorway of the Yeezy 350 V2s only. I only make them out of 350 V2s. I don't make them out of any other sneaker. And I know that I said I'd be selling five and that's because the sixth one is my personal pair. Like I have this one right here, and then I have my other two in that box right there unfortunately since i have to make the price cut i do have to cancel off the worldwide shipping there is only u.s shipping if you want to buy it and you're overseas you can go ahead and buy it off the website but you will have to pay the fees however if you are in the u.s i will ship priority mail so it will be shipped out asap and you will get it in no less than like three days and that's pretty much it for this video it was pretty much to promote the mask and talk about what i have planned for it and i think i forgot to mention that it will still be free priority mail shipping in the u.s only if you guys are interested in buying any of these three masks right here there will be on my website which is rsneakers.bigcartel.com you will see these two right now but you won't see this one until 8 p.m tonight for today's fan of the day i do want to give a big shout out to matthew Caccia. thank you for having your notifications on if you want to be a fan of the day all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel turn your notifications on and also make sure to be one of the first people to comment on my latest video to have the chance to be fan of the day for my next video anyways guys if you guys did enjoy make sure to give the video a thumbs up also don't forget to comment what mask you guys want to see me make in the next two weeks and i will have to go out and buy it and then make it because i have to find a reseller out here somewhere or if you guys have a good plug or are the plug for sneakers hit me up and i will cop the sneakers directly off you anyways guys make sure you guys keep grinding it's your boy sneakers signing out